this is an Aries tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Stand up and be recognized. Number 40 reduced to a four. Behold, you are the inspiration you've been looking for. And you're in great company. Number 16 reduced to a seven. Pull back to propel forward. So four to a seven. So we're mid-cycle. We're in the thick of it. Hmm. So getting the message here that especially if this is a more introverted areas or if you've just pulled your energy back from the world in general um there's the encouragement to get back out and participate in your interests hobbies any of that kind of stuff um there's there's soul family and friends to be found in those interests okay show me what's going on with Elise, please Okay. The moon, Pisces energy. Hmm. This is something you miss doing. It's something you miss doing. I feel like there's could be too much on the um there needs to be a reevaluation of what it is that you're prioritizing. Is it things it is is it mostly things that are for others to serve others' dreams or your own? Okay, and then switch up accordingly. Okay. Let's see. The world, there's the completion of the lesson right there. That fixed energy. The star again. Card of Aquarius, Knight of Wands. Seven of Cups, Two of Wands. King of Pentacles, that's Taurus Energy. Judgment, Ten of Wands. Hmm. It's a bit of a faded meeting here, isn't it? I'm going to read This Is You, This Is Them. This is the situation. You are excited to meet them. <laughs> you are excited to meet them. They also feel like the kind of person that has uh, too much going on. Kind of stressing them out a little bit. It's kind of stressing them out a little bit. So it looks like you both might be learning the same lesson here. Okay. If there's any hold back from this connection, you're going to be propelled forward by the universe to move in this person's direction. Okay. Show me the star in this situation. Let's get some details here. Page of Pentacles. Yep. Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, good. Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Strength. This one wants to come out. Scorpio, here with the Death card. So we have Leo, Scorpio, Taurus here so far, for those who are keeping track. Okay. So, I like that the, we're, one or both of us are learning something new to the point where any... Thought patterns that revolve around an old way of thinking that holds your energy back or is going to be moot, okay? There's going to be a confidence that rises over that that makes that thought pattern obsolete. What that does is it's, it's a really big game changer for you, for them, for the both of you, for whoever that applies to. And it allows connection to move forward. Show me the Knight of Wands for Aries, please. Yeah, you're, yeah. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, Sun, Leo Energy. You're, you're, this is kicking off. You have, you have a big giant reset here um, in, in a very happy direction. Show me the Two of Swords. The Sun and the Moon. Oh, we're no longer sad. There is no longer someone that we miss. We're no longer heartbroken. We're looking forward to being happy. Look at us. Look at us. And the sun and the moon. Someone's really balanced their masculine and their feminine. Congratulations. Good job. Show me judgment, please. Oh, almost fell out. Show me judgment. 
Yep. Wow. Seven of Pentacles underneath. Um, Judgment, Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. You are ready. Ready for that new beginning in love. Okay. Not just what you are uh, truly emotionally connected to, but it is coming across as love here with the Queen of Cups. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this person. Okay. Start with the Seven of Cups, please. Seven of Cups. Ah, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Scorpio Energy, Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a person who has been looking for someone to build with long term. Okay, um, they have been, it, it does feel like that mismatch of perhaps you just decided to get it back into dating. This person has been going through their options. They've been through this. They've been playing the game. Okay, they've been single for a bit. They've been playing the game. And they're just keeping, they're not moving until they find the person that, that they can build together with. Show me the King of Pentacles. Awakening, that's a judgment card again. Now you both have it. Ooh, happy to meet you. <laughs> yep, love it. Okay, Awakening, Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Wheel, Emperor, Aries Energy there. Okay, so this is quite the catalyst for this coming across as the masculine energy. Um, I know that's you, but it's it's making them, it's showing me, it's almost kind of like um, as she goes through each of the seven of cups kind of thing, like, no, no, and kind of like sleepwalking through it because they're just disinterested. And when you walk in, it's like they turn on. Okay. And then they, they step into their powerful divine masculine. And they're like, yes, this is it. I'm going to make things happen now. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> Show me the Ten of Wands, please. Show me the Ten of Wands. Yes. Beautiful. I like it when masculine energies are so decisive. Ten of Wands. Chariot, card of cancer. Ten of Pentacles. He found the thing. He's up. And he wants to... Go straight for it as fast as possible. As fast as possible. Done being sad. Done waiting. Done missing someone who is, hasn't shown up yet. Want, there's happiness. Okay. He's really been like defensive of his cup. <laughs> Very defensive of his cup. But now it's like, Aries is here. Everyone, shove out of the way. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> okay. So, it's off to a really great start. Is there anything we need to know before we go on to the extended? Hmm. Because you seem pretty concise. They're the ones that needed more description. What is it that's changing here with the death card in the situation? What's transforming? Show me. No indecision at all. Arrows of love coming in. There's commitment. Ooh. There's that faded energy again. Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, Star, Card of Aquarius. So at the very, very least, no matter how this goes, whether it ends or continues, the one thing that the two of you provide for each other is the end of whatever thought process this is, this old mental pattern is over for you both. You both learn something new in pursuing this connection. Okay. I'll take it. That's a win. <laughs> that is a win no matter how you look at it. All righty. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this uh, King of Pentacles Emperor. I'm going to see what's going on with him and his current energy, his near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.
Ooh.